something we haven't really talked about yet is actually that you're going to Japan to do a job of work. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, there is that bit as well. All this fun in Tokyo and all this eating out and all this travel and all that sort of thing. There is a job to do and that's what you're signing up to do. It is a job uh, that you've agreed to do and it carries an appointment with the Scout Association. Your records will be updated six months before the event. Your role on the IST will be as an appointment on your, on your record. Yes. Which also gives me the power to take it away, but we might talk about that later as well. <clears throat> But you may be interested, a lot of people are interested to, about what they will actually be doing, and I said I would talk about the role of IST versus JPT. For those of you that means nothing, there are two roles that, for this jamboree. One is IST, who are the people that will deliver the, the event. That you will go, you will work in a, a job of work to support the jamboree, to make it a fantastic occasion, that is the IST. There was an option that was created late in the day of JPT, Jamboree Planning Team, which a number of you signed up for. The Japanese organisers are still working, really and truly, on what that means. But what that commitment is, <laughs> what that commitment is, is on your behalf, is to do some pre-work or to do some specific planning if they ask you to. That's the difference, but when you get there, you'll still be doing a job of work the same as everybody else. We've been waiting and waiting for information about what you're going to do, and that's come through in the last couple of weeks, so this is brand new information for you. Um, more like, well, like the UK Jamboree as opposed to the Swedish Jamboree, you are going to get some opportunity to express a preference for what you would like to do. Yay! So, coming out apparently three weeks ago, um, there is a delay of about two months from when stuff is said to come out from Japan and does. We are expecting a IST catalogue, and these are the departments. I know that some places you can't see. So, Contingent support, subcamps, human resources, guest services, marketing communication, information and communication technologies, on-site program, facing beliefs, off-site program, peace program, ceremonies, safety, site management, transport, foodie, food and trading. You will get the opportunity by the deadline that you've already been shown, which is... The 7th of November. 7th of November. But, you know. 7th. 7th of November to express a preference to work in one of these areas. Now, the, the, there is no guarantee. The Japanese organisers are not saying that's what you will go and do, but they are trying to fit as many people into the roles that they, they would like to do. If you are JPT, you are far more likely to have the opportunity to express the role that you would want to do. So, you have the opportunity. If you go on to Events Force, put the data in, they will do all that they can to make that a reality for you. If you don't fill it in, which is fine, you might want to choose that as an option. A lot of people go and say, actually, I'll just go and do whatever. I'll, I'll do whatever they ask me. Part of the experience for them is, you know, I'm happy to do anything. I'll fit in anywhere. And that's great, because that helps them. So if you don't want to express a preference, that's absolutely fine. You'll just be allocated a job. But we are hoping that before we go, that you'll, you will know what, what you're doing and, and the role and the people that you'll be working with. There is every job that you can imagine. So, you know, well, a lot of you have been to the Jamborees before, but you will have that choice. We're running short of time, so I think we're going to stop there. Okay, that last slide said it should be issued in September. We haven't had it yet. And then the choice is date by the 7th of November. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you welcome to the stage, Mr. Liz Smith! It's so boring now she's found the stairs. It was much more fun when she had to come up from here. You didn't tell me that the stairs were there. Hi, well, we're almost coming to the, the part of the programme where it's break up and go into the various sessions. But before we do that, I would just like to say that I hope you are getting the message loud and clear that as IST, you are really being thought about in all sorts of ways, from the travel, to the kit, to the jobs, to this weekend, to everything really. You are really, really, we are really proud of all of you and the fact that you've signed up to help us 
to go and deliver a fantastic programme. However, I have to say that although we've got lots of pink people around, pink shirted people, there is a team, the IS or IS support team, and I'd like to welcome them on stage so you know clearly who they are. Where are they? Come on, come on stage, lovely IS team. <laughs> Fantastic! They are. Uh, this is, this is the dream team. This, they will be supporting you. And there is somebody I must say a very very special thank you to, and that is to Stu. Stu Card has has worked really hard. When you've got your program and all the logistics, that is down to Stu. So I think a real hand. <laughs> To Eric and Lawrence because they've been sterling work out on the field so you would have met them so Lawrence and Eric and also my two lovely glamorous assistants I've got we've got Steph and we've got Joe so welcome to them as well <laughs> So we make up the IS support team and I think you'll be seeing a lot more of us. Uh, but that's not just where the support ends. The support is going to be delivered by everybody in a pink shirt. We really want you to feel that you are part of the UK contingent. Yes, we've got unit leaders and we've got participants, plus the IST equals the UK contingent. So there we are, the team is there, we're ready, we want to meet you, we want to help you, we want to support you in whatever ways that will be coming out a bit later on. Right, we're into break now and then we'll be going on to the next part of the programme. Is there anything, Stu, that I need to... Yeah, start... Oh, I would just say... We are running a tight ship. There is so much that we've wanted to be able to share and prepare and help you with. So please be, please be prompt if you can. Just one more thing. Yeah. Joe and Lawrence, could you step forward? Slightly serious. Oh yes, I. Serious note. Um, for those of you who are who are kind of who are under eighteen at the, the the event, Joe and Lawrence are your designated assistants, if you like, over the weekend. So if you have any issues or any any concerns, anything you need to know about. You can, of course, ask anyone, but for those that are on, on the Andro team, so I've come at the back, Joe and Lawrence particularly here to help you. Okay. Thank you. So, sorry about that. I was overwhelmed by my wonderful team, so thank you very much. So, yes, right. have fun and enjoy, enjoy the rest of the programme. Take a chair if you need to, and see you at the barn dance.